Welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name's Michelle, and today I'm going to be opening up my September Ipsy bag. Now, I was super naughty this month, and I not only looked at the sneaky peek email that they send out a couple weeks before they send out the bags, but I also opened it last night when I got it in the mail, and I just couldn't wait. But the glory about that is that I'm actually wearing some of the stuff right now, and I can and give you a little bit of a feedback tidbit about what is in the bag. So let's go ahead and see what all came in the bag and I'll talk some more as we go along. So this is what this month's bag looks like. It is super cute, bronzy, sort of classic glamour kind of shade and texture and look and everything like that. And it's a little bit different of a shape, so I like that as well. Usually it's like more square-ular, square-like. <laughs> and inside there's a lot of goodies in here. Now I did think, or I thought I bought something with my points, but maybe it was like too late for it to come in this month's bag, so hopefully it'll be in next month. So remind me to talk about that all right first item out of the bag was something that when I saw the sneaky peeks I was like I want that this is the NYX eyeshadow palette that is specially made for ipsy and it's what I have on my eyeballs today I used the light shade all over the lid the more bronzy brown shade on the outer third and into the crease and then this dark black matte black the other two are kind of shimmery but the dark matte black on the outer corner to just sort of smoke it out just a little, little bit there. And I threw on some eyeliner and mascara and I was good to go. It was super easy, effortless, and I was really impressed with the quality of these eyeshadows. I don't think I've tried too many NYX eyeshadows. That has opened my eyes a little bit to the NYX realm of cosmetics. And the little clasp here on the front is a little bow. Do you see that? Isn't that cute? Just the little details and things like that are what kind of put certain products over the edge for me. Not only is it the quality, but what they put the care into the packaging as well. Okay, so the next item out of the bag is the Natural and Organic Cream Blush in Ash. This is by Evelyn Anna. I don't know, the print is like super, super tiny. But that is what that looks like. It is a gorgeous pinky mauve shade. And it's what I have on my cheeks today. It's very soft. It's not a very pigmented shade. As you can see, even on my hand, it's just sort of, when you go to blend it out, it just sort of disappears a little bit and gives you a, a light, natural flush, which I like. Uh, I do like to set it with a powder today. I did not because I wanted to show you what it kind of looked like straight out of the little compact. But yeah, it's pretty cool and I like cream products. They look more natural. Next product out of the bag is one I have not tried yet and it is the Bayberry Naturals Rose Hips and Hibiscus Hibiscus <laughs> Moisturizer. No sulfates, parabens, phthalate. No artificial fragrances or dyes. It is 81% organic and 100% vegan. It's a cute little bottle there. Let's go ahead and put some on because my hands are so stinking dry. It has a light fragrance to it. It's not too in your face. It's nice. There's something. It's just a, a moisturizer. Nothing over the moon about it. Um, yeah, it's nice to have, I guess. <laughs> Next product out of the bag is another product I have not yet to try. It is the Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. It's an exfoliating cleanser. It's a cute little bottle like that. And yeah, I look forward to trying that. Although it looks like it's only like a third full. Isn't that like disappointing when you only when you get like a bottle like this but it's only like filled to here? And the last product out of this month's bag is actually one I already owned in the full size. It is the Tristique Nantucket Nude Matte Lip Crayon. And this is the mini. This is what came in the bag. Isn't that adorable? It's what I have on my lips right now. It's a nice warm nude. It's not a dull kind of flat shade and I really like it. This is what the full size looks like. I bought this when I was at Generation Beauty. I just couldn't keep my hands off of it when I saw the color. I was like, I have to have it. So it comes out in a crayon form on this side and then the full size has a double end of a little gloss that you can put on. Just I like to put it on just in the center just to re-moisturize your lips because it is a matte lip product just adds a little moisture not too much gloss and I really like this I've been keeping this in my purse a lot I've been liking all of the Tristique stuff that I've been trying out I really need to sit down and do a video and show you guys all of what I have because it is really really cool so that is it 
for this one's ipsy bag let me know what you think about it in the comments down below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and stay tuned for new videos coming out very soon I should be having my boxy charm box going up soon I have a derma store box that I need to open and show you guys it's really exciting it's a brand new box for me so we will open it together and see what it's all about um I think that's it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye